What event in the past or future would you like to witness in person? I think it'd be funny and cool to witness Marie Antoinette saying, let them eat cake. <laughs> right. Let them eat cake. Yeah. Kazing! You think? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Gabby and Linda from Brain Education TV. So we're staying in LA and we found these table topics cards and it's this game where you ask each other questions. So we have no idea what cards are coming up or what questions are coming up. So these are just totally random, totally like, like just on the spot answers yeah. to these questions and they're very interesting. So mm -hmm. I will start. Okay. This one says, in what language would you like to be fluent? Fluent, um, probably Russian. Mm -hmm. I think that just sounds really cool. Like it's, I don't know, a really cool sounding language. So I'd like to learn Russian. What's your favorite dessert? Ooh, donuts. Mm. Are donuts desserts? They're desserts, yeah. right? Is, I'm just like going through a donut phase right mm -hmm. now. So I she definitely, is. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm like, Gabby, we need to get donuts when we're in LA. Yeah. <laughs> so donuts. Donuts, cool. What would be on the menu for your ultimate birthday dinner? Um, I love Korean food mm -hmm. and yeah, everyone knows I like Korean food. Mm -hmm. So I'd have like lots of Korean dishes. I think that would be definitely on my menu. Would you prefer to have many acquaintances or a few very close friends? A few very close friends, definitely. I'm a close wolf pack kind of girl, mm -hmm. so I would rather have very like even if it's one person that I can tell everything to mm -hmm. then like 500 people that I can't express my true feelings with. Mm -hmm. Which wild animal would you like to tame and keep as a pet? An ostrich. ostrich! <laughs> I think they're so cool looking and like so funny like I've seen all these videos of ostriches on YouTube mm -hmm. and you know they're like long head I don't know they, that'd be really fun. That's so funny. <laughs> and you could ride them too. They run so fast. Yeah so an ostrich. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Can you tell if someone is lying or telling the truth and if so how? Well I think um, sometimes I could be kind of gullible, <laughs> so it takes a second for me to really see if someone's lying or not. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people, when they lie, they get like sweaty or they can't look you in the eye. So that's a big, or they get, they get fidgety, you know? So that's a big factor of when people are lying. So I look out for those kind of things, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love you, Gabby. Am I lying or telling the truth? Telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> She's good. I was yeah. telling the truth. <laughs> How will you know when you're grown up? Wow. That's a question. <laughs> That's a question. Oh, you know, I do have an answer for that. I think what marks like being grown up, I think it's basically like when you feel like you're mature, mm -hmm. you know? And I think maturity comes from being able to like think about other people and think about like the world beyond just your world. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, children, they only think about their world. Mm -hmm. like me to focus on me love me kind of mm. thing and you know some adults even live that way yeah. too yeah and i think just only thinking about myself is a sign of immaturity mm -hmm. but if you're able to like grow to like think about like okay how does my action affect the other person mm -hmm. or how do does my little seemingly small behavior affect the world if you can kind of take into consideration a bigger picture than just you mm -hmm. i think that's a sure sign of maturity and being grown up mm -hmm. yeah so it's, there's a lot of adults who aren't there yet. They're physically like that, but mentally not there. So that's just my, my belief. Mm -hmm. Which of your five senses would you least want to give up? To give up. Mm -hmm. Least want to give up. Definitely sight. I would least want to give up sight because that, you know, I feel like that'd be very terrifying to like live in darkness. So sight. Did you know that over half of the information you bring into your body is through sight? Mm. That's why we have so much visual stimulation, mm -hmm. colorful flashing lights everywhere mm -hmm. because your brain is designed to take in most of your information through sight. Mm -hmm. Wow. Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. When you're having a bad day, what do you do to feel better? I move my body. 
Mm -hmm. I move my body because mm -hmm. I realize that like if I'm feeling really bad it makes my body feel really sluggish mm -hmm. and so if I keep just being still and not moving my body it makes me go into a darker hole of not feeling good so every time I'm feeling like really crummy if I like even dance a little bit silly or even like go for a walk or go for a run that totally changes my mood mm -hmm. so I always move my body when I'm feeling down it works every time what are the most important qualities you look for in friends? So I look for people who support me. Like I, you know, I might do things that are different, but if at least they're supporting me, mm -hmm. then that's the most important thing to me. Yeah. Definitely. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. What most important quality do you look for in your friends? Let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious to hear what you say. Last one. What event in the past or future would you like to witness in person? I think it'd be funny and cool to witness Marie Antoinette saying, let them eat cake. <laughs> I don't know why that came to my head, but... I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Let mm -hmm. me go there with you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let them eat cake. Yeah. Kazing! You think? <laughs> So if there were some questions that you thought were interesting and you want to tell us your answers, please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to read them and see what you say to the questions that we asked. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye! Bye.